oh. horrendous. Hang on a minute. Awful. I sweary. Th- mm. I words. Think, I think we've got. A, I think we've got a breaking news. Have we? Yeah. Have we? Yes. Oh, Eric Ten Hag, here we go. According to Fabrizio Romano, Eric Ten Hag to Manchester United, here we go. Agreement on contract now set to be completed. Mitchell van der Gaag, priority candidate for coaching staff, Ajax and Man United in contact to discuss two million clause. Announcement timing depends on this, not today, tomorrow. So Fabrizio Romano with wait, a wait, here wait, we wait. go. Wait, 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 wait. What's changed? Well, it's a here we go by Fabrizio Romano. That's what's changed. He's decided to go with it. He's your mate. Now... The argument that Steve's making is that's not much of an update. We kind of knew that all anyway. Mm. I mean, was there any doubts no, I today think, that this wasn't going to happen? I think was it It was like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. At some point last week, Ornstein basically broke all of that. When you spoke to Romano, what was he saying? You spoke to him last week, didn't you? I, I, everyone's of the opinion that is, this is who it's going to be. And like, let him just finish the season. But it's sorted like... The, the backroom staff needs sorting out. Yeah. Um, and I know they're in conversations with a, a few different people. Um, and that's it. Who are they like, in conversations with? Do you know? Some. You do. You do know. Well, I can see on, that clip in his eye then. Yeah. He knows. He's like, and I know he they're knows. They're conversations with certain people. Who? Don't start giving Come it up. It's not mine to put out there. Oh, uh, some people on. are being coy. Howson, you've changed, man. You used yeah. to message me at all hours of the day yeah. with all sorts of info when I didn't even ask you for it. Yeah. And now I'm, I'm sat here as you busy what asking I'll you a little, is, just whisper it to me over the microphone. I will say... Go on, I won't tell anyone. Don't believe the, the dismissals of Van Persie. Okay. <laughs> for now. There you go. Mm. Exclusive. However, However mean. it's not straightforward. I, someone was mentioning it. I think this is the reason for it. The, the lack of a work permit because he doesn't have his qualifications... Um, is one of the how, how is that a thing? We're Manchester United Football Club. It's Robin Van Persie. Yeah, how is a work took permit? Us to get Ralph Rangnick. I know, but it took still, an extra three weeks. Come yeah, on, yeah, yeah. like how can we not get a work permit? Fucking Brexit, innit? Literally, literally Brexit. This is how we lost out on Michael Essien. Yeah. Um, yeah, and he could never play for. There are club, others, and there is a lady that we are um, looking at as well. Interesting. A lady who may or may not do analytics and stuff. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, with There's another rumour doing the rounds, and it's not been addressed on this tweet, but I wanted to ask you about it, because it was a, a report that I read somewhere about um, the lad that you, you've you mentioned a few times on the um, on the brewery, you're talking about him. Is it Paul Mitchell? Is that likely, do you think, to happen? Because there's sort of people saw him and Ralph Ragnick. He's leaving Monaco, I think, or he's left Monaco, I think. He, he's, he's, he might be leaving he Monaco. Might, sorry, yeah. he might be leaving Monaco at the end of the season. Chelsea people look at well. him as a bit of a guru when it comes to the old overseeing stuff. Should do. Working he, with the manager. He's sort of hipster's choice almost, isn't You've it? You've got a little smirk there. I've like, seen a little smirk coming in your face like there. A little. Big name. I can't tell you something on air because <laughs> it's not, not because it's like <laughs> ITK stuff. <laughs> it just sounds wank for me to say out loud. Right, okay. Well, you can tell us off air. I'll tell you it's off air right, because I'll, I'll if I, look, and I'm not. This isn't me trying to be like. Th- Mr. Literally, knowledge. it's it's nothing to do with him coming to United. Right. Whether or not that's happening, I don't know if that's happening. It just sounds braggy and wank to say it. All right. I'll okay. tell you something. I, I, I can. And put you know what the internet's together. like. This yeah. this will get spun to fucking kingdom come if I say it out loud. Is if he, that is, is Paul Mitchell in your house right now? Is oh, he staying at yours? So. Is it? Okay. Has he messaged you recently? And on that note, I do need a bathroom, Tyler. Really? Has he messaged you recently? No. Has he messaged wow, okay. you ever? <laughs> What's Romano saying? <laughs> wow. Hey, there we go. We is, can read between the is, lines. Is Phil Mitchell hey. still your favourite Mitchell? Um, you like Grant and Billy as well. I know no, that. Billy's but. a prick. <laughs> really? You're a weedy boy. Yeah. What about Phil then? You like him, don't you? Or is it Paul now? Yeah, it's Paul. Good lad. Interesting. It'd be great in it if we had so, Paul Mitchell and Mitchell van der Gaard. So on v- Ten no. Hag. All right, fair enough. Sorry, it would, yeah. <laughs> the t- Mitchell thing, I get, get it. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, so on Ten Hag, do you like him? Do you think he's got a chance of beating <laughs> like Klopp and Guardiola? Like, is he shit? That's is a good, good question. Like, no, 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 well, think, that's the thing. Like, what do you think of him? He's got a good style of play. He definitely turned Ajax around. Yeah. The, the mo- for me, the most impressive thing about uh, what Ten Hag's done is he got a team rinsed. Mm. Like, you know, he, he, d- he had a bit of success in Europe, which is more than you can hope for an Ajax side lately. They got rinsed. Like, that team literally got picked apart. That team now literally plays in every country in Europe bar mm. Holland. Maintained winning, kept the integrity of his team, just promoted more fucking youngsters. Mm. 
And that's, if, who that's, doesn't want like that? Style of play. Club? Yeah. Because it's more possession based than Rangnick, isn't it? It's more. It's almost like a hybrid of Klopp and Guardiola, but yeah, more and towards I think that's, Guardiola. I think that's. Um, to be honest, my style of play is a bit like that. Yeah. Like that's how I like to see it. I think you've got to dominate the ball. I think the modern game requires it. I don't think you you can be successful without the ball. I think any top level team, any team challenging for owners, mm. should be a team that dominates the ball. Um, and I think he does that. And I, I also think. Pep's fucking 25 passes to maintain positions a bit mm. much. You know, like, you know that literally like you win the ball back, you make 25 passes. Now the reason for that, Pep says you lose the ball within 10 seconds of winning it. That's the time that you can that you lose the ball. It's also the time that you can score. So if you win the ball, high up the pitch, you try and score. If you're not high up the pitch when you win it, like middle third or your own third, you make 25 passes. And now what that does is it resets your shape and they pass the ball to reset their shape and they pass it 25 times and then they'll start their attack from there. That's why they end up with eight, 900 passes per game because a lot of what they're doing is resetting the shape and I'm not a fan of that. I'd rather be more direct. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be almost every time you get the ball, can we play it forward? And even if you've got to knock it around to drag somebody out of position, I'm about that. Mm -hmm. But can you get the ball up the pitch? Can you start creating opportunities and... I don't like necessarily what Klopp does with that. I think they put a lot... They remind me a little bit, and this is getting clipped up, Go on. fucking Burnley. late 80s Wimbledon. Yeah. There's Beautiful. a lot of percentage Beautiful. balls about what they play. Now, obviously, it's it's way more technical than that, but there's a, a lot of channel balls. It's very 80s English style of play, really. A lot of crosses from deep as well, isn't yeah. there? Overlaps, crosses from deep. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's yeah. 100% more technical and probably more effective than, than that. Yeah, of course. But I think, in essence, I think it lives in Bit that of sort of sphere. Big punt up, get on the end of it, son. What do you make of it? Because you like your foreign football, don't you? <laughs> eh? Yeah. You like, like that, him. don't you? All that it's stuff. Got, the, the honest eh? truth is, there isn't a young up-and-coming manager that has won the Champions League or that has done it in multiple leagues or whatever that isn't tarnished or thinks they're too good for United or just, you know, someone that hasn't managed at a high enough level. That That person isn't there. There no. isn't a Jose Mourinho in 2004 or, you know, a Klopp in, you know, 2012, whatever it was, 13, whatever it was. No. Like, There's he's not a million, like, up-and-coming mega no. managers, isn't there? No, they there's kind of all even, get snuffled up. Yeah, even Nagelsmann got the job at Bayern Munich, which, one of the, which was the, by far the biggest job in Germany. Hadn't really won anything. Yeah. Like, he'd done good work at Leipzig, but you have to sort of take it, you know, the rest for, um, for yourself. Like, there isn't anyone that's done it and still at a small club. So he's the best you're going to get. If you want an up-and-coming manager, you have to go for someone that did well, but at the biggest club in their country. Just, like, just, there isn't any more, anyone else. So I, I think he's the best available. That's, that's the one thing. I wanted to ask you this as well, because how much are you excited by him as a manager on his, you know, what he's achieved and what he does? Or how much of it is you don't really like the other candidates? Because I know I don't, you, I don't like the other you've been very, very vocal. I don't like the other candidates, but I also sort of, you know, none of this fucking matters unless he's actually given the keys. Okay. If he's just a fucking chauffeur, yeah. You know I mean, like he has to be able to fucking drive it where he wants to take it, not drive it where Richard Arnold wants to take it. The structure's a big thing. We've been saying that for ages, haven't we? We've yeah, and that's that. another reason why I would a hundred percent leap for Ten Hag over Conte, because uh, I think Ten Hag. Uh, and this isn't inherent in Ten Hag, but in, in a point in Ten Hag, you are making a footballing decision to to look at a restructure, in my head at least. Mm -hmm. If you appoint a Conte, you're just carrying on normal jogging from your Lou Van Gaal and, and Jose Marino era, where it's going to be... It's like Ancelotti. Ancelotti's not going to be asked about what the analysis department looks like. He's been doing this for shit 50 years. Yeah. He'll just carry on doing what he's doing. Conte's going to come and do exactly the same. You've never heard of Conte overhauling systems and this, that and the other, whereas... You know that Ten Hag is very hands-on uh, and ha uses sports science integrally into what he does. Mm. So you bring in Ten Hag with Ralph Rangnick, ideally with a Paul Mitchell as well. I'm mm. thinking you've now assembled like a front office that actually has a fucking clue what it's doing, rather than Ed Woodward spinning around in his chair and fucking Matt Judge asking some of the best right backs in the world who the fuck they are. 